Welcome back to the Unity 2 Unreal series. We are here in the Game Dev Cave, and in this video, we're going to go over taking your Unity assets and converting them to be able to be used in Unreal Engine. But before we begin, thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. It's safe to assume that at some point you've gotten some assets in the Unity Asset Store, and maybe now that you're trying to get into Unreal Engine, you want to use those assets because you have years upon years of build-up assets in your library, and you don't want all of those to go to waste. Luckily, it's actually not that difficult to get them out of Unity and into Unreal. And as part of this video series where I'm helping Unity developers get used to and migrate to Unreal Engine, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here in Unity, I have a handful of assets, these very nice, simple looking axes, and I want to get those into Unreal Engine. The first and most important thing is to open up your package manager. If you don't have that, of course, you can get that here in Windows panels and then package manager and we can open it up like that we're going to look through the unity registry and there we're going to be looking for the fbx exporter now, i already have it installed but if you don't this remove button will just say install instead and you can install it and that will allow you to export any game object as a fbx file which you can then of course import into any other software so once we have that installed we can come over here into your scene hierarchy and we're just going to take these three little axes that I have here. I can simply right click them and export to FBX. We can give this uh, a name. Let's say we call this something like axis FBX. Then we can give it an export path. By default, it's going to put it in your Unity project itself, just in the assets folder. But of course, you can just use this button over here to put it anywhere on your PC you want. For now, just using the assets directory is good enough. Then we can uh, set this to a different export format if you want to. Sometimes, depending on what we're exporting to, uh, you need to set this to binary. But for Unreal Engine, this works. We can include either the models, the animations, or both. We'll talk a little bit about exporting animations in a second because there's a little extra trickiness to that. But for now, let's just export the models only because these things don't even have animations. The LOD levels, if your meshes have different LOD levels uh, with them, we can just take the highest, just take the lowest or all of them. For the most part, you're going to want to export all of them, of course. The object position, whether it is locally centered, so the mesh's own pivot point, or a world absolute, meaning that's going to use the pivot point 0, 0, 0 for every single mesh. If you're exporting entire levels uh, that need to go from Unity into Unreal, this world absolute can be very, very useful for the most part, especially when doing individual meshes, local centered is the way we want to go. And then the last very important one is embed textures. The FBX file, in general, will just point to the texture files that it knows exist on your drive. But if you want to embed the textures within the FBX file, so that if you put it on a different PC or whatever, now they will actually be in the FBX file itself. Meaning that the file will be larger, but also that it's no longer dependent on textures somewhere else on your computer that you might then eventually remove. I personally just like taking this to being true. And now we can simply export. Now we have this as an FBX file uh, right over here with all three axes in one file. Again, you can put this anywhere on your PC you want. Uh, for now, I just put it in this Unity project. And from there, we can just drag and drop this into Unreal Engine and we get a usual importer window. There's a couple of things to keep in mind though. And that is that if you look down here, the file axis direction is Y up. And that's a little bit different between Unity and Unreal Engine. Unity uses the Y axis as the up direction in your 3D world. Unreal, however, uses the Z axis as the up direction in your 3D world. So you're going to need to convert from Y to Z up. That sounds like a whole bunch of painstaking work, but it really isn't. Because for the most part, you can just keep this convert scene and it will convert the coordinate system that it has, which is just like it's embedded in the metadata. So you don't have to worry about setting any of that up or anything. And it will convert it to Unreal Engine's coordinate system so that they will actually face the right way up. Now we can import all. And you see that we immediately have the static meshes. It makes the materials for us if we open up the material. 
this is a very simple material if your materials are a little bit more involved you might need to reconstruct uh, a little bit more in unreal engine of course but if it's just a very simple like pbr material like this even with other maps like metallic and specularity it should just one-to-one -one recreate the material in unreal without any problems and now we can just put these into the world wherever we want and we are good to go now that's just for static meshes. Uh, skeletal meshes specifically with animations are a little bit more troublesome. So let's actually take a look at that as well. I have this character over here, which I bought and it has a bunch of different animations. It comes with this demo scene. It is a skeletal mesh and it has an animator component. If we go into the animator controller, I have put all the animations that are available for this in this animator controller, which you can simply just do by, I took the in place animations i'm just going to re-import those into this animator controller simply just like dragging and dropping them in there and that's really all that you need to do but there's one important thing and that's specifically why i chose this asset is that fbx exporter doesn't really play very well with uh, animations that are set up to be humanoid avatars and that is to say if i go into any of these animations you see that this animation type by default for this asset and probably a lot of assets that you have as well is set to humanoid and that is really handy and really useful within unity for retargeting your animations between one skeleton and the other but the fbx exporter doesn't really know how to deal with that so instead we set this to either legacy or generic the issue with legacy is that it doesn't really work that well with the animator and just throwing all your animations into an animator controller is the easiest way to get a bunch of animations exported so that's why i tend to stick with generic here so all these animations you will be able to see i can save this that's fine are set to generic and then using no avatar and then in the animator controller here, we have a animator controller that just, uh, as you could just see, has all of these animations inside of it. And then its avatar is also set to no avatar. And with that, it becomes as easy as just saying, hey, I want to export this as an FBX. And we can uh, set this to now include animations and models or only the animations if you already have the model imported as a separate FBX for whatever reason. It can also enable the animated skinned mesh checkbox over here aside from that it's pretty much the same deal as just exporting a static mesh so we just export this now uh, let's put this uh, with a different name so this will be my zombie animations exporting that will take a second longer of course because there's a lot of animations involved now but if we go back into assets we have my zombie animations let's show that in explorer again you can just put this into your unreal engine project uh, directory directly and you probably should but now that we have all of that baked into one fbx we can go back into unreal engine and just drop that in and just like any other fbx we get this import window of course now we can say it's a skeletal mesh whether or not we want to import the mesh in this case we do uh, we want to import the animations uh, we can either just do export a time or animate a time in this case those should be the same but one thing that you will want to uh, pay attention to is if you import this right now it's going to be a little bit messy and i'm going to show you what happens we have convert scene set to true so it's going to change the coordinate system but it's going to change the coordinate system for the mesh the animations though are going to be still flipped in the wrong direction as you can see i have my skeletal mesh right over here and it looks perfectly fine right way up just deposing as usual everything that you expect but if i go over to all the animations that belong to it uh, you'll see that these are uh, on the floor and that's not exactly what we want them to do so how do we fix that well first and foremost i'm going to just real quick delete all of those imported assets uh, that we did the wrong way and let's try to import it again and this time we will go over what went wrong because it converts the scene for the skeletal mesh but then the animations are still flipped 90 degrees so instead what we're going to do is we're not going to use the convert scene itself we'll just set the import rotation for the first axis here the x-axis to 90 degrees that will flip everything up the right way just the same as convert scene but it will also do it for all of the animations so if we import all now we'll be able to see that all of these animations are now facing the right way up this idle animation that we looked at a moment before 
was halfway in the ground is now standing the right way up and we can use this thing from the unity asset store that i bought on the unity asset store in unreal no problem everything just works and as you can see it even animates properly through all the way if you're interested in making the switch to Unreal, check out the website linked down below in the description to learn more. They've also got much more detailed documentation about importing things from Unity into Unreal. So make sure to check that out if you are ready to jump in. And a very big thank you to all of my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. A huge thank you to my cave student tier supporters, Earl Monsevel Erno, and my cave digger tier supporters, Sergey Thomas, 